Greetings Marines, Fayot here and today I am bringing you my first technician pathogen build. Of course here we're looking at the replacer mods. Those are the basic modifiers that change the behavior of your kit ability. And today we will be talking about the amazing particle turret. Now uh, the particle turret is different from the incinerator in the way that it is mostly utility for longer ranges very very low damage and it's different from the heavy turret in the fact that although it shoots from the other side of the map you will not be dealing any substantial damage whilst using it so what does the particle turret do it states Deploys a particle turret which fires a penetrating energy beam that damages all enemies in its line of fire. Struck enemies are briefly slowed and take damage over time. Okay, ignore the initial salvos damage and the damage over time. Because we're looking at relatively small numbers for extreme, insane. What we want to do here is place it in a way that slows the enemy. And the slow is really, really substantial. This slow combined with charged coils make enemy crawl, guys. They will be advancing at a snail space and of course you can take them out whilst they're trying to reach you to damage you. How do we capitalize on this to make their life even more miserable and make it nigh impossible for them to reach your location and wreak havoc? Dynamic delivery system. Your turret now fires 10% faster and deals 25% more damage to armor. Very, very good. And uh, we will combo this with a couple other things to make it even better. When the turret is destroyed, it explodes, dealing damage to nearby enemy, reduces the base recharge time of your turret by 5 seconds. We want this mostly for the 5 seconds cooldown because the turret will be in the back with you. And it will rarely get destroyed, but sometimes you might have to, re to quickly reclaim it to place it somewhere else. You deal 20% more damage to targets your turret has recently damaged. Now we're building with the basics. Every time the turret damages something, you deal 20% more damage. But this is a penetrating bolt. That means that if you place it correctly, you will be damaging multiple enemies at once. Okay, so every single one of them will take extra damage from your firearms and your coils, which of course deal minute damage, but you know what I mean. And this is a great boon for your overall damage output. Creative point solutions. You and your turret deal 15% more damage to slow enemies from both the particle turret and the coils. Ignore that the turret will deal more damage. You will deal more damage with your shotgun and your pistol, and this is great. Collaborative analytics. Cross-platform synergy also increases you and your allies' accuracy and recharge speeds by 10%. Your turret will be on the back with you, as I said. So, this will actually be very, very helpful to help the entire team get recharges back, like particle lances for the lancer or the grenade for the gunner. Resonating impact. Whenever you or your turret stumble a target, they take 10% more damage for 6 seconds. Your turret gains a 10% chance to stumble and then we go with deep leverage. When you or your turret shoot a target affected by resonating impact, they have a 15% chance to be knocked down. A target can only be knocked down this way once every 10 seconds. So the turret hits an enemy with a chance to stumble and then you and your turret can shoot the target with a 15% chance to be knocked down. And knockdown is the longest duration, let's say, stun in the game. Really, really good. Now let's go coils. Compatibility matrix. While your ability is active, you deal 10% more damage. Three coils, that's 30% more damage for the heavies. Amazing ability. Maximize retention. When a foe enters the field of your charged coils, they have a 33% chance to be stunned for two seconds. Batteries included for 20% recharge speed, the long haul for 20% duration, and I put enhanced reach here for a larger radius of effect. You can take this out and put in jackpot or whatever else you might want to use. Let's take a look at the coils with this configuration. I throw the coils down, 
17 seconds. I have, of course, three of those coils, but I want to drive a point in here. My third coil will be back a couple seconds before the coil on the ground runs out. There you go. So that means if you time it correctly, you can always have an extra coil. Now, there is one thing in this grid that you might have noticed is missing. Hyperlocal logistics increases your turret's health regeneration rate while you're near it and your turret fires 10% faster while you are near it. Now, this is kind of a double-edged sword for what I'm going for here. And uh, this is because the turret will not take damage. You're on the back with it. And your turret will not really deal damage because it doesn't actually deal that big of an amount of damage. It's mostly CC. This is a 10% faster rate of fire whilst you are near it. You will be near it to get the cooldown benefits as well. But it is not such a big deal with this build. If you understand what I'm talking about. This specific build brings the utility of the turret into play to slow, not to damage. And that slow will be applied if you correctly use choke points. And by choke points, I don't just mean the glitched doors purists. I mean angles that will fire at more than one enemies at once. It doesn't really cut it for me. You can, of course, change it up for enhanced reach. Take this out, put hyper logistics in. Is it worth it? Mm, not 100% sure. So, Marines, this is my shock therapy build for the technician. Very, very effective. Tried it on insane. Worked like a charm. Of course, one player doesn't win the game. It's a team effort, but with this build, your effort will be that much more effective to, well, help the team. Sub, like, share, and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified about new uploads and streams. Lately, streams have been even better than before because we gather a lot of people and the banter is awesome. We're always very friendly. Don't be shy. Come say hi. And if you really want to help yours truly, consider Patreon or get a membership on the channel. Until next time, be well, stay frosty, and always try perfection, Marines. Geo.